guys, it is a TK Maxx shop with me today and I have been so excited to do this with you guys. I am yet to do a TK Maxx shop with me, so I'm very excited to do this with you all. Um, there's been so many posts and people that I've watched on YouTube done TK Maxx for Christmas decorations. Um, I've seen a couple of pieces that I'm actually quite excited to go and get myself if they're here, but um, I'm actually excited to check it all out with you guys. So if you enjoy these kind of videos, make sure as always to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I make lots of videos like this, um, plus lots of other fun ones that you can go check out. Um, so let's go get Darcy out of the car. Elle's gonna wear him as per usual on his chest. And then we're gonna go and shop. These are cute for nine dollars, soft sold. They were nice for dressing up instead. That's cute. Well, they're cute too. Ah, they've got Jack and Jilly. Oh no, Jack and Lily. Sorry, not Jilly. <laughs> I think they're all girls' shoes in there though. That's a discount price for the grow bag. If you guys remember, oh, I'll turn this way. if you guys remember, I worked with the Grow Company a couple of months ago. Um, I didn't realise this, but TK Maxx actually has the Grow bags in here, and they're actually at a reasonable discount price. So this one is thirty nine ninety five, and I think online they're almost eighty dollars. So pop into TK Maxx if you want a new sleeping bag or Grow bag. No, they're just normal shorts. They're only $9.95. What size? One. Actually one. 12 months. But they wouldn't fit him now in for three months. Mm. Should we go out Yeah. He definitely needs more shorts. He <laughs> turned up to the camera down. Cute. Oh, look. <laughs> Is that funny or are you crying? <laughs> so relevant. <laughs> Found the goodies. Oh, look at that. It's cute. Oh dear. Oh, beautiful. How much is that? Oh, I'm gonna get that. Where are you? I'm gonna get that. $7.99 and it's like butter. Because we always talk about wanting butter out. Why not have a Christmas festive one? Yeah. I could. Well, mum will bring brandy butter. I've also got this little cute dish. It's a polar bear. Oh, it's only $4.95. Good for nuts. Nuts, yeah. I love how like on board you are with this. <laughs> oh cute. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it's the same cup as this one. Oh, I love that cup. That's so nice. They have like huge mugs. Oh, look at that! Salt and pepper shakers at a Christmas. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look, it's a Christmas. Or is it a butter dish? Oh, it's a butter dish. I thought it was a Christmas pudding dish. I thought it was a Christmas pudding dish. Yeah. 
Your face really fun. <laughs> oh look, that's cute. This is that. Can you tell me what this is? <laughs> I don't know, but can you tell me what this is? Is it a mug or like what is it? It is. It is a Christmas tabletop table. Yeah, but what is it? Um, it can't just be a tabletop, surely. A three-piece mug. <laughs> What's the matter, Bubble? Oh, that's cool. A lid and a spoon, and the spoon goes in. Special delivery, all packaged, posted December 25th. Express. Oh, that's cute. So many. They're so pretty. Way they got them in there. I know. Very, very organised. Oh, they're cute. No. They're really fun. Oh, they're pretty. How much are they? Twenty-four ninety-five. I like them too. Sixteen ninety-five. Definitely pay for baubles here. So many. <laughs> oh my gosh, this just smells like Christmas. Ooh, cranberry top. Winter pine. Oh. Yeah, it's not nice to say. No. White pine. I don't think pine is my favorite. Oh, I quite like that one. Sniff that one. Ooh, is that another coconut one? It's a holly berry and evergreen. Ooh, so no coconut. Twelve ninety five. I like that. I like that. It's a nice Christmas scent. Maybe pop all the ones we're interested in there and then we'll do a final cull. Oh, it smells like cinnamon eggnog. Yes, it does, doesn't oh, it? We've got to have that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the box of this one. Oh, no. Ooh, that smells like... I don't know what it smells like. Very fancy box. Oh, it's not that pricey. Open it up. What does it smell like? Oh, Is it nice? Like, like Christmas pudding. <gasps> Ooh. If we can find one like that but bigger, I'd be happy. And when we thought it was over, there's a whole other aisle. Oh, cute. Oh, hello, Santa. Cute. Oh, I love those to put candles in. Oh, so nice. <laughs> Does it talk? <laughs> oh, I like these. I don't know. That's cute. Yeah. That is so affordable. Oh, there's a little one playing golf. That's hilarious. Oh, look at that one. That's so cute. Oh, love that. Oh, I want to.
wanted to see how much this was. It's only thirty-four ninety-five, and it could be nice for the table for Christmas. Put it in the centre of the table with candles on it. I'm not convinced. Not convinced? Yeah. I like it. I love it, look at that. Yeah. Um, this is the tree, where is it? Here. This is the tree topper that I was. It kind of jingles a little bit. It's only $9.95. Do you like it? I don't think the top of that tree would be strong enough to support. Really? Yeah. Damn. It's all these gorgeous little. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? I'm so torn because we have nowhere to put things because of Mr. Moo. Mm. You make life difficult. That's so amazing. Yeah. And now we're in the land of pillows and we all know I love a good pillow. <laughs> Tis the <laughs> sarcasm what I want. Tis the season to sparkle. How much is it? Let's see. Oh yeah, a little out of my class range. Oh, I love that one. It's cute. Oh, and the little Christmas trees. They're all $34.95, I think. Enjoying your little perch there? I am, it's perfect. All right, should we go home and show them what we got? Let's do it. Okay, guys. It is now time to show you what goodies we picked up at TK Maxx. Now, I didn't want to overload you with all of the footage that we got at TK Maxx because honestly, a lot of it is just showing you shelves. Like I can't really show much more than that. Um, so it's a little bit not as interesting, I don't think, as actually seeing the goodies that people buy. So that is why I've kept it nice and short at the actual shop with me part. Um, when I say that, it's still like 14 minutes long, so it's still quite long. But anywho, I've got the goodies I bought tons of goodies. I didn't even mean to buy this many things. I got to the checkout and I was like, oh my god, this is going to be hundreds of dollars of stuff. And all up, I think it came to like 150 So I was super impressed that it was only $150 for all of the things that we bought. Now, a couple of things, um, I did ask the checkout lady if I could return if it didn't work. Because my tree can be quite flimsy. So there's a few things, there's a little hint for you, a few things that are for the tree that I wasn't sure would drag it down or not. So... Let's get into the haul anyway. I feel like I'm just going to jab my mouth off otherwise. Uh, there's a good mixture of things. There's clothing, decorations, you name it, it's, I've got it. Um, so let's start off with some homewares. Uh, now this is something that I've been looking to buy regardless of Christmas and I saw it for $3.95. I don't know if you could see that. The $3.95, and if you don't know what this is, I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory. It's a ladle holder, essentially, so when you're cooking something and you've got a dirty spoon, I am forever terrible at just putting it on the sink or putting it on the hot stove. So this is going to be perfect for that. Um, I think it's just a... Let me see what design. Uh, it's just kind of like a foliage kind of... Nothing fancy. It's just to literally hold the spoon. So next up, I have this really gorgeous butter dish. Um, in the UK, it's very, very common to leave your butter out of the fridge all the time, like so that it's soft and just like really, that's why they say soft like butter, right? Um, it's, that's where the saying comes from is that they leave it out. And I saw this was a Christmas related one and I thought it'd be really nice for brandy butter or just for normal butter on everyday use and I can just store it in the fridge in this. Um, it's got little reindeers around it, which is super cute. Um, and then it was $7.99, which I thought was a very reasonable price considering this is like ceramic, it's not plastic. Um, that is a very, very good price in my opinion. So that is for the win. Next up, I bought these super cute little um, decorations for the tree. They're little Santas. Um, well, kind of like elf Santas. I don't really know 100%, but I just thought they looked super cute. Now this pair, well, these two came as a pair. Um, as you can see, they're attached at the top. 
and they were $6.95 for the set, which I thought was very reasonable. They've got little love hearts on them, and I thought they'd be super cute on the tree. I've been a very aware. Um, sorry, also, I just realized I've been saying super cute so many times in this video, and I've actually edited back the shot with me part, and it is so frustrating. So I do apologize for the super cute constantly. You're probably going to hear the same thing in the next video coming up as well, so I apologize in advance. But anyway, they are super cute and I've been very aware that Darcy is of an age where he's going to pull things. And so as much as my heart desired the nice glass baubles and really like decorative beautiful ones, I just know that they're going to end up shattered. So that's why I've gone for more of the soft plush ones. So if he does pull them off the tree, they're really not going to hurt anybody or um, get wrecked. So that is why I bought them. And then if you saw before as well. I got the little mouse one. Now this one's a little bit more heavy duty. It's got a bit of weight in the bottom of it. Um, and it's more of like a felt um, look. $3.99 as well. And these are the full price. They're not on sale. That is the full price. And then one more because I was just obsessed with the whole look of it, honestly. Uh, it's a little bit better quality than the other pair that came. Um, and it's a little, another Santa with a bit more of like a curly beard and then like a really pretty decoration sort of treetop hat. Treetop hat? No, not what I mean. Elf hat <laughs> is what I meant to say. Um, and this one was a little bit more pricey at $4.99 but still very reasonable I thought for a $5 um, for a Christmas decoration. And again it's kind of got that weighted bottom. It's got beans in it I want, I want to say. I'm assuming so that it just like droops on the tree. That's what I'm assuming it's for. Now next up, this is one of the items that I wasn't sure if I was going to return or not based on, you know, my tree, whether it can hold the weight. I personally think it's not going to be too heavy. I think it's more so the box that's the weight of it. It's actually still quite reasonably light regardless of the box. Um, now, she did say I can return it, I did ask. So if you want to, you know, check something out or buy a decoration and you don't know if it's going to match your theme or if it's again too heavy for your tree then you can return it she said she just said you need to keep the packaging and the receipt so i'm very excited i don't know if you'll actually even be able to see that with the exposure very well but it's kind of got like sequins but it's not like stuck to it it's actually got wires through it so it's not going to come loose you know every time that you pack it in and then pull it out each year and then it's got the metal bit that it actually sits on the tree down the bottom and it's a metal structure for the whole thing as well very thick and solid so I don't feel it's going to go flimsy there's one solid I want to say gemstone but obviously it's just plastic in the center I thought it was a really nice modern take on sort of like a snowflake slash star for the top of the tree you know um, I just really liked the modernness of it and I was very surprised when I saw the price of it in store it was $14.95 and I thought for the quality that you're getting the look that you're going to be getting it's going to be making your tree I feel look very expensive and this year I've decided to go for a white and silver kind of theme um, or creams so I thought that this matched very well because it's sort of white and silver so yeah, very impressed with that one. Next up, I have a couple of candles. Now, I ended up buying the same brand for the two of them, and I didn't even mean to. So, as you saw in the clips, I was just sniffing and seeing what I liked and what I didn't like. They had a huge range. Um, so, we ended up filling up the cart with the ones that we liked, and then ended up sniffing all of those at the end and deciding which ones we did and didn't like. Um, I have to say, TK Maxx's prices for candles is so phenomenally cheap for compared to you know your glass house candles and all of those more expensive um brands i don't know if they'll compare in like uh what's the word burning length like obviously glass house is known for lasting a really long time so i don't know if the brand that i bought today um or not today but a couple of days ago um will stand up to that but the price is so affordable that I was willing to take that risk. Um, so the brand that I bought accidentally for both of them <laughs> was LAB or Lab. Um, I'm assuming it's Lab. Yeah, so it's Lab. Um, and the price for the candles were $12.95. And as you can see, they are a significant size. I would say almost as much as in the glass house, if not the same size as the glass house candles. Um, they've both got the double wick inside. 
and this one is called the Holly Berry and Evergreen Coconut Wax Blend and it smells like a mixture of eggnog and like Christmas pudding. I can't quite describe it. It's like cinnamony, fruity. Oh, it's like the bomb. Oh, here we go. 408 grams. So I'm pretty sure the glass house is similar to that. Um, I'm, I'd have to check mine to be sure. Um, but it comes with like a plasticky lid um, that's sealed. So it's not just like a flimsy lid. Uh, it would make a great gift for someone as well, by the way, which I did want to add. Candles are a fantastic gift and I'm always grateful to receive candles because the smell of your home is so important to me. Um, if I can, you know, set a candle on for a couple of hours without really having to do anything to have a nice smelling house, that is the way to go. Um, so I'm excited to try that one. And then the other candle which was the same brand as I said. Uh, this one's green on the outside and it's called Fresh Balsam and Pine. Now, you will see in the, or well, would have seen in the clips that I wasn't a fan of like the woody kind of pine smells, but this one, I just really liked it. It's kind of like a more fresh scent. And I really can't describe it. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't have guessed that that is the scent if I was to smell it. It's just very... It's not pineapple-y. I can't, I can't put my finger on it, but it smells so beautiful. I would say out of the two, the more Christmassy one is that one. This one's just more of a fresh can't quite put my finger on it but it's it's definitely still a Christmassy scent but it's just a different scent obviously to that one um, so yeah I'm really loving that one um, I'm excited to try them both we're actually doing Christmas downstairs this year because it was so hot last year um, and we've got like an old air conditioning unit downstairs and it's tiled so for Christmas this year we're gonna do downstairs and I thought we could have a candle upstairs and a candle downstairs so that'll be nice bring a bit of the Christmas spirit to both levels of the house. I've never fully considered TK Maxx's clothing range before. And let me tell you, that was a massive underestimation, underestimation of the brand. Um, they are obviously a brand that houses a lot of big name brands for smaller prices, which if you haven't seen my videos before or watched my channel before, it's kind of like my tagline, isn't it? I always talk about Big name brands for low prices. That's my catch line. I love to, I love to grab a bargain. So when we went to TK Maxx, I saw these branded priced, um, they, they still leave the tags on as well, might I add, from the full brand's price. And they were discounted to like 75%. So I was super, super shocked. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. I've got a men's shirt. Now, Elliot picked this out and it is the brand... Report Collection, I don't know who does this, if that's the name of the brand, I'm not sure, um, or if that's just the collection name, but it is looking like this. It's got little like teardrops all over it, uh, burgundy color as you can see. Uh, so this is for work. Uh, Elliot needs new work shirts and pants all the time because he just goes through them like nobody's business, um, which is understandable. He wears them five days a week, so I can understand that. Um, now, we paid $24.95 for this. There is the original tag on here, but it doesn't have the price. Um, so I'm not sure how much this particular item was full price, but still paying $24.95 for a really nice, thick, you can tell it's good quality. Um, I'm quite happy to do that. And for little Mr. Darcy, we actually grabbed some new shorts because it's obviously coming into summer. And in Queensland, we are just living in heat at the moment from now until probably next year in, I don't know, June, we will be suffering. So um, we bought some new shorts for him and his bottom half of his body is definitely not the same size as his top half. And I think that's quite common in babies. For what he's a size one upstairs, he's like still in a size zero for legs and things like that. So I went and bought some new pants because all of his other shorts are still too big for him and they're dro dropping down. So these ones were $9.95 and they are the brand Minotti, Minotti? Um, it says 12 months, 80 centimeters. And again, it doesn't have the full price that was on it, but I thought $10 and these are such good quality really nice thick and a really thick stretchy band 
Um, the drawstring, I don't know why they don't work in baby's clothing. It really annoys me because you would think if anything, they're the ones that are going to need the adjusting. They're the ones growing and shrinking. So anywho, that annoys me, but that's a side note. And then they've got these little fake pockets and stuff, but it's more so just to fill the need that he needs new shorts. So I've grabbed those ones. And then there was this gorgeous little set, which I couldn't go past. Uh, Mama's Great Catch, and it had the little shark as the A, which was super cute. Um, it was $12.95 for the set, which was a super reasonable price. It's the Mini Heroes um, brand, and it was in the size 12 months as well. Uh, so the shirt looks a bit short bodied, but quite wide. And then the pants, which was more so why I bought it, are these cute little jersey shorts. Oh, there was one other delicate that I forgot earlier. Um, this is a plate. You would have seen me pick it up in the um, footage. But it's a little polar bear dish. And I thought I could use this all year round, actually. Like, I love it for Christmas. But I thought it was really cute to just use all year round. It's great for nuts and just little little snacky bits. So that'll be on our Christmas table this year. Oh, forgot to mention $4.95 for that, which was very reasonable. And it's got, like, a gold rimming around the outside which is very very adorable and last but certainly not least is probably one of my favorite things i've ever bought myself is this really gorgeous dress um so it's like a tealy blue color um it actually matches my shirt today which is very ironic i do love myself a spot um and it's a dress that is very like thick linen-y material it's it's almost like very coarse um, so it's not see-through one little bit and it's got like these ruffle sleeves I'll try it on for you so you can see um, but it comes through a very reasonable length which is always important as a mother I feel like and then it's, it doesn't sit awkwardly either it sits just under my boobs which is great it doesn't show any of my like areas like my fats around my belly or um, what's it called your love handles and things like that the things we have to worry about with curves hey um and then obviously as i said it comes to a really nice length so i really thought this would be nice for a summer dress this year or just you can dress it up and go out to a nice date night or dress it down and go to the beach whatever you want to do and um, i'm super excited to get lots and lots of use out of this this year i bought it in the size 14 and again it doesn't have the full price on it but for the quality that it feels like, for the price that I paid, I was super stoked with it. I paid $19.95 for this dress. Like, are you kidding me? $20 for a dress this quality? Like, I honestly felt like this would be charged $50 in another store. So I was very, very happy and excited to see that this looked really good on me. I feel like I've talked my mouth off. The camera's definitely been rolling longer than I was expecting or hoping to. So I hope you enjoyed this haul and shop with me. If you did, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. It's free to do and I make lots of fun videos like this one. And also leave me a comment down below. Have you been to TK Maxx this year and are you going to buy anything for Christmas? Um, yeah. Let me know down below and I will see you all in my next video for a very exciting shot with me next Sunday. Bye! What does perfect even mean? Is there